what if I do? Sammy Whiskers! Get him! Not today, rabbits! Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Hello? <laughs> Come on! Come on, Lily! Hurry, Benjamin! <sighs> How many times do I have to tell you, Whiskers? No rats allowed at Hilltop Farm. Cat! <laughs> Oh, get your claws off me! Help! Sammy, stop me! You asked for it, Sammy! Yes! And stay out! We make quite a team, don't we, Mittens? I could have handled that rat on my own. No problem. Oh, come on, Mittens. It was kind of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe a little. But it's a serious business protecting my farmyard. That rat could have eaten all Pig Robinson's food. Heidi, hi. Did I miss something? Hi, Robinson. Yum. If you're going to hang around, can you keep out of the way? I need to guard this place. A farm cat's work is never done. <laughs> Come on, guys. We can eat up here and enjoy the view. Great idea, Peter. Oh. <laughs> What is the world coming to when a rat can't eat some stolen oatcakes in peace? Ow! Uh, what's all this junk? Uh, ow! Uh, what kind of oaf would leave all this lying around? This kind of oaf. <laughs> oh, Tommy Brock! How nice to see you. Um, I was just saying what an impressive junk collection you have. <laughs> I'd squash you, rat, but I'm busy. Got to find somewhere to put all this stuff. Got too much to carry around these days. Hmm. What you need is somewhere cosy and safe. Somewhere like Hilltop Farm. Farm? Oh. Why, yes, it's the perfect place to call home. I'll take you there if you like. Hmm. All right. And while you keep those rabbits busy, I'll get those oatcakes back. <laughs> <sighs> Finally. <gasps> hey! Oh no! Look! <gasps> What's Tommy Brock doing here? Oh. Huh. That rat was right. This is a perfect place to keep my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have to warn Mittens. Come on, let's hop to it. Now, some folks call it junk, some folks call it old, rusty, bent. Cracked or chipped, junk to me is gold. OK, you overgrown black and white singing thing. I'm giving you five seconds to clear all that rubbish out of my farmyard before I throw you out. You know the best way to work up an appetite? Hmm? Juggling! <laughs> hey, careful with those! Watch out, Peter! <laughs> about that, my friend. Once again, my squirrely exuberance got the best of me and caused untold heartache. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you can open your eyes now, Benjamin. We're on the ground. Uh, uh, I knew that. Um, I was just doing an extra long blink. The radishes are gone. The radish robber must have followed us here too. I say we could hold our breath, dive to the bottom of the river and eat our radishes there. Or I know a perfect spot at Hilltop Farm. We should tie it to a bird and eat it in the sky. Ooh, we should bury it until next summer. Hey, huh? what if we just, you know, eat it right now? Brilliant! Yay, radish time! I tell you what, though, if I ever get my paws on whoever took our radishes, there'll be a... 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 furry? <gasps> Mr Todd! <laughs> Three little rabbits out in the woods all alone? You shouldn't sneak up like that. I'm a fox. Sneaking is sort of what I do. Oh, and what's this? A radish? 
Mmm. I am quite keen on the peppery flavor of raffinous sativus, as it happens. Maybe he's the radish robber. Ah, oh, <gasps> come, come, Peter Rabbit. Even your father never tried to outfox a fox. Dad's secret escape. Good old Dad. Very well, Mr. Todd. Ugh. You may have captured our last radish, but you won't catch us. Ah, well, the main dish may have escaped, but the salad is intact. <laughs> Cheer up. We'll just get more radishes from Mr McGregor's tomorrow. Hey, can you smell that? <laughs> it can't be. It is! Radish, Radish soup. soup! That's right. Little Cottontail brought them home. She just found them lying around in the woods. <laughs> our radishes? You, you, you've been taking all our radishes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> whoa! 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 <laughs> yeah! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Uh. Oof! <laughs> 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 Feathers and fluff! Who's making all that noise? <laughs> it's okay. Old Brown's not up there. Phew. Wait, if Old Brown's not up there, then where is he? <gasps> Tail feathers! Get the nurse to the raft! I'll keep him busy! Keep who busy? <laughs> oh, rabbits are brave! Rabbits are brave! <laughs> ah. oh. Hey you! Twin twin! <laughs> Why would rabbits be gathering nuts? Those silly squirrels must have sent them. Oh, maybe if we add them with some sort of sauce? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where, where, where did you get all of those? We just popped over to our island. We wanted to make up for destroying your nut stash. Helping your friends is a sort of rabbity thing to do. Owl Island, eh? That was a really, uh, uh, really, really, really bad idea! Incoming! I knew it! You are working with the squirrels! I've got an idea! <laughs> Hope it's better than your last one. Just keep on round busy! Wanted tools, pencils, nuts, and taking care of unwanted owls. The blackberries are just over this hill. You 
you said that about the last hill, Peter. Are you sure you remember where they are? <sighs> I think I might need a rest. <sighs> Why did you bring those anyway? To fill with blackberries, of course. Hey, look. France has found a little hole in the bottom. They have to have those. They're part of my dad's canophone. What's a canophone? It helps you talk to someone, even when you're far apart. I'd show you, but I need some string. <gasps> Just in case, Pocket. Just in case. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa! Oh. <sighs> Um, stop. <laughs> hey, guess what? <gasps> it works! Yeah. And I found the blackberries. Only, there aren't that many left. Benjamin, your canophone is brilliant. You can use it to carry berries and to deliver important messages oh like... Oh no, Mr Todd! Yes, exactly. Messages that warn us when horrible foxes are near. He's right behind me, isn't he? What luck. Three juicy rabbits and the makings of a blackberry sauce to go with them. Uh-oh, <laughs> there's no way out. I've got you. <laughs> Run for it. <laughs> oh, that's prickly. Botheration. It looks like the only thing I'll be having with my blackberry sauce is blackberries. <laughs> Mr. McGregor, hurry! Okay now, on three. One, two, three! Don't forget the strawberries! <coughs> you did it! I did? I did, didn't I? Oh, many stealers! Run! Come back here! Close. Do you know the way out of here, Benjamin? Yep. Other way. Uh, I knew that. Let's go! <gasps> That's our way out! The cat's in the way. <gasps> All clear. On my signal. And go, go, go. <laughs> Benjamin? Benjamin! Everybody okay? Phew. <laughs> now that's what I call a strawberry raid. <laughs> You know, Benjamin, I wasn't sure you had it in you. But I've got to admit, you were a great leader. Well, you know what they say. Some rabbits have got it. <laughs> and all rabbits need a little help from their friends. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <Woo -hoo>! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cottontail, not yay. If the cat's back, that means Mr. McGregor's back too. And he's even more dangerous than a fox. <laughs> I know that for a fact. Yes, that's it. We get Mr. McGregor to scare off Mr. Todd for us. That's right. We get Mr. McGregor to... Wait, what? It's easy. We wake the cat, the cat alerts Mr. McGregor. But how do we get close enough? We can't. But I bet someone small and super sneaky could get through that gap. Oh. Wanna play peekaboo with a kitty cat, Cottontail? Yeah, peekaboo! Hmm. Yeah, perhaps. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's doing 
doing it! She's doing it! Uh-oh! I smell rabbit. Ah! Uh -huh. Well, uh, you're pretty stinky yourself. <laughs> it seems our little game of hide-and-seek is over. Yeah, but Cottontail's game of peekaboo is about to start. Let me explain a little something about the natural order, young Peter. Rabbits are scared of foxes. Fact! That's true, Mr. Todd. What's the problem, Pat? But then foxes are scared of angry gardeners. Fact! Oh, what angry gardener? <laughs> oh, Mr. McGregor! Stop there, you wreathies! <laughs> 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 McGregor? Yep. Lucky for us, he's better at growing than he is at throwing. <laughs> <laughs> really, 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 really. Let's go home. Looks like we're having a feast tonight. Who's hungry? Uh, roots, fruits, greens and beans. <laughs> Squirrels. Giant radish! <laughs> so, tie this off and we'll help you for whoop! Alley up! Woo! Ha <laughs> I did it! <laughs> you may all clap now! Uh Hello! Where did everybody go? I knew you could do it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but by the way, did you see where my squirrel tribe went? No, not Kim. We haven't seen them. I don't understand. I didn't see them leave. And I've got good eyes. I don't miss a thing. Gotcha. <laughs> well, you won't be bothering me again, ever. Oh, no. Mr McGregor's got Nutkin. <sighs> This is all my fault. It was my idea to bring Nutkin along in the first place. I've got to get him out. Uh, you can't keep us in here. We're wild animals. We need the great outdoors. And Felix gets very sweaty in confined spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Help us! It's too cramped in here! And uh, somebody doesn't smell too good. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll get you out, Nutkin. We need that key. It's too high up. And look what's under it. Don't worry. I've got a plan. Operation Free the Squirrels is a go. I'll never get to taste you. Ready? Ready. Uh, can't hold this much longer. Uh. <gasps> what? There's no time to lose! Run 
Like, see, they've already gone. No kid! <laughs> Let's hop to it! Nasty squirrels! Come back here! <laughs> Ready, Benjamin? Catch! <gasps> Phew! Quietly, in the sack. Uh, uh, oh, oh no! Without those sprouts. Hey, let's hide under here until the coast is clear. now. We've been here a long time. Too long. Look at all this snow. One of these crates must be the sprouts. But which one? They all look the same. Hmm. Rabbits. <gasps> sprout stealing rabbits. Mr McGregor, hurry Peter. Which one is it? Stop. Uh, I think uh, these are the sprouts. One, two, three. Uh, It'll be rubber and sprouts uh, you for dinner. Help me. Uh, 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 Roberts! Sprouts are heavier than they look. Come back here. What do we want today? Uh, a carrot, a turnip. <laughs> Maybe not the cat, Peter. Whoa! <gasps> Look at those scrummy cucumbers. Watch this. Uh, uh. Ah, my favourite jacket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr Todd, can we have our fishing rod back, please? Of course, my dear boy. After all, why on earth would I want to go fishing when I can have rabbit for dinner? Ah, get Mr back. Todd, give me back my friend! <laughs> Lily, what are you doing? Come on! <laughs> You'll slip up one of these days, Peter Rabbit. Woof, 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 woof. <sighs> ha! Crap apples! Nice one, Lily! <laughs> yeah. Do you think we lost him? Ah, poor Benjamin. You need a big hug. Uh, I'd rather have a big cucumber. <laughs> or how about. Oat cakes! What are they doing out here? Waiting to be eaten. Hey, we can't just take them. If we don't, someone else will. But these hot, sweet, steaming oat, oat cakes! cakes. Oh. Them. Oh, they're mad 
Martin. Have you seen them? Oh, oh, have you? Have you? Oh, oh, whatever has happened to my freshly baked oat cakes? Your oat cakes? What oat cakes, Mrs. Puddle Duck? Only oh. the sweetest, crumbliest, oat cakeiest oat cakes I ever did bake. Oh. They must have fallen out of my basket on the way to oh. the river. Oh, someone did eat them. Imagine! Yes, imagine eating someone else's oat cakes. Mr. Todd took them. <gasps> oh! Oh my! Oh dearie me! Oh my! Well, there's only one thing to be done. I should have words with that thieving fox right away. Phew! I oh, thought we we're in trouble there for sure. Jemima Puddle Duck's the one in trouble. She's heading to Mr. Todd's. And foxes eat ducks. <gasps> yeah, this is bad. Very bad. Phew, we did it. Everyone okay? Check. Hmm, check. Okay, let's head for home. Well, look, my huh? spines. You are a very nasty fox indeed. Pluck your spines is exactly what I plan to do before I eat you. <laughs> oh, dear. Help! Quick, we've got to save Mrs. Tiggerwinkle. I know. Follow me and bring those onions. Mm -hmm. Let's go! <gasps> a little rosemary and you'll be a tasty treat. <whistles> Ooh, with a little rabbit dessert to follow. Not today, Mr. Todd. Huh? What's that? Come on, Mrs. Tiggerwinkle. Oh, no, you don't. Bye-bye, scrummy onions. I'll never forget you. <sighs> <laughs> Onions. Mm, fabulous. <laughs> now, if you've had quite enough fun, I'd rather like to have my lunch. Where did I leave those potatoes? Mr. Todd! Catch! Come on! <laughs> oh, thanks. Oi! <gasps> Fox, get your paws off my potatoes! Yes! <laughs> oh no! Look at the wagon! <gasps> Are you okay? Oh! I can fix it, but not before Mr. McGregor comes back. Oh, and I'm happy none of you were caught or eaten, by the oh. way. Oh well, time to go. <laughs> no way! A good rabbit never gives up! <laughs> We can still pull off the great potato plunder. We just need some extra squirrel power. Leave it to me. Squirrel tribe, assemble. I said, assemble. Ahem, squirrels. Yeah, that never works. I've got this. <laughs> oh! So, what did you have in mind? Squirrels. Dinner's nearly ready. Ah. We were so close. I really thought we were going to pull off the great potato plunder. Cheer up, Peter. I never got the chance to tell you, but your father only came back with one potato too. He did? Yes. And you know what he said? It doesn't matter. All that matters is the adventure. It may not have been quite what we planned, but it was a lot of fun. And besides, you'd be amazed how far one potato can go. Potato stew for everyone. <laughs> Smells mm. good. Mm. Mm -mm. That is one great potato, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop there, you weak heat. Those are my carrots. <laughs> Come back here, Robert. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. I think we're safe. I beg huh? to differ. Ah! Tonight, I shall feast on wild rabbit with garlic potatoes and... Carrots? What a <laughs> splendid idea! <laughs> Now we're safe. <sighs> I've got to stop saying that. How many times have I told you? Never, ever wake me up! <laughs> what a day! <laughs> Keep still, please, Benjamin. Is it just me? Or are you tired of being chased around all the time? That's just the way nature works. It's called the food chain. Bad-tempered badgers like Tommy Brock and frightening foxes like Mr Todd both chase rabbits. And rabbits chase... Uh, Rabbits? Exactly! Benjamin. Whiz! The home of ABCs, 1s, 3s and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find Kids TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is. <laughs>